Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So it's been really, really, really long and I haven't made a video on Hackintosh and I have neither made a video on anything. So it's been my, uh, I have been busy in my papers and stuff. I got a bad university routine. That's why I was not able to make any video. So from today, I will try my best, inshallah, to make the best videos and the regular videos on Hackintosh and other YouTube stuff I suppose I should make. So the first thing first, this video is basically on the very basic crux of how to get your Hackintosh running and optimized. And I'm starting with the graphics card side and then I will switch to CPU optimization and I will then uh, tell you how to select the best motherboard for your system and many other things including audio settings ethernet settings wi-fi settings and uh, usb settings usb type c settings and in the end i will also tell you about the thunderbolt and thunderbolt configuration settings so let's start so this video is basically on how to get your graphics card running right now you have seen i'm running gtx 1080 and i have a 8 gigs of ram in it and it's pretty working and it's working quite solid it gives quite high results and uh, i don't know if it works i will go to the geekbench and while i'm recording while i'm doing the screen recording i will also do the test and i hope it won't put a bad that big effect normally it gives me a score close to 196 or 197 and mostly it gives me a score of 2 2 lakh as well so let's see how much uh, the video recording puts effect on the gpu performance and it's uh, like a 20 seconds or 15 seconds test and after that i will tell you how to get your gtx 1080 1080 ti 10000 1000 series 900 series and 700 600 and every other series to work on your graphics card so right now you can see even though i'm recording i'm doing a screen recording the graphics benchmark was quite high it was almost close to as it normally is there is there is no significant difference on it so normally i get two lakh now i get one nine seven and uh, even though i'm recording the screen so close this and how should you get this working the first and the most important thing is if you're trying to boot for the first time using hacking tosh and you have a CPU that does not have integrated or built-in Intel graphics card or AMD card then you have to basically use your graphic card to boot so I don't know how I can explain this properly but let me open the notes here so the first thing you have to do is you have to disable you have to disable your graphics card Mm, I don't know if the zoom is working or not. I will manually zoom it. So how you do is you have to use the boot flag, boot flag, which equals to NV underscore disable is equals to one. So this is the boot flag you have to use to disable your graphics card. So this is specially for NVIDIA graphics card disabilization, not for AMD and amd graphic card won't boot on the first place because they are designed in such a way and nvidia's graphic card has the option that you can disable them so the osx does not try to load them without having a proper graphic card so use this nvidia underscore disable is equals to one and you can also use kex dash slash dev slash mode is equals to one this boot flag helps a lot you can also use npci npci is equals to 0x2000 so these are the basic text you can use to get your graphic card boot without any drivers one more thing if you are using high sera sera then you have to also disable or you can say unclick slash unclick nvidia web drivers so this is a place in clever configurator or the config.plst that you have to unclick before you try to boot without any nvidia graphics driver after doing this 
I will also explain you how you can do this on Clever Configurator that might help you a lot. And if you're using Clever Configurator or anything, oh my god, what is this? So if you go to the Clever Configurator, if you go to the Clever Configurator, here is that NVIDIA web area, NVIDIA web. This is the NVIDIA web. And if you go to the boot section, this is the Kex disabler, NVIDIA Kex disabler, which is NV underscore disable is equals to one. And you have to use this Kex slash dev slash mode is equals to one as well. And if you want to see what's going on with your screen and what's uh, working at the back end of your system, you can use this boot argument, which is verbose minus V. And I also use NPCI is equal to 0x2000. It solves some of the PCI slot issues while booting into the OS X. So these are the basic boot flags. This one, this one, and this one. And here in system parameters, you have to disable this for the first boot when you have no NVIDIA Intel, uh, when you have no NVIDIA drivers. After this, what you have to do is you have to install two of the most important things without which your NVIDIA graphics card won't boot or work. The first is this NVIDIA drivers. NVIDIA drivers are very important and if you want to search them on Google, you have to write NVIDIA web drivers and the second is CUDA drivers. You have to install the CUDA drivers. I already got an update. So let's do the update using the Safari web browser. Let's go there and if I read NVIDIA web drivers and after that you have to write the model of the OS you are using. Mine is 10.13.4 then you have to go to the link. Then you have to click download. Agree. So the NVIDIA web drivers are downloading. The second thing you have to download is NVIDIA CUDA drivers for Mac. So after using good right clicking, you have to download the latest one, which are at this moment 396.64. You have to go and this is only a 15 MB file. You just click download. So once both the NVIDIA drivers are downloaded, you can just install NVIDIA drivers. Uh, you also need to restart the system after nvidia web drivers so once your system is restarted after nvidia web drivers what you have to do is an other mystery so let's suppose that let's suppose that i have installed nvidia web drivers and nvidia cuda drivers and then i have done a restart i have done a system restart i have done done a system restart down with system restart what you have to do is then you have to open clever configurator so, so you, you have, have to install cooler drivers and nvidia drivers and after this you you are allowed to do this step so i will name it the final step and i'm making this stuff because some of them, my final step, some of the other YouTubers are asking me that please, we don't understand English and we don't understand that and that please slow down and stuff. So I thought putting notes on the screen might be helpful to for other people to remember the steps. So when you have to do the final step. So the final step is after you have booted up into the OS X and you have downloaded or you have installed CUDA drivers and NVIDIA drivers, then you are allowed to undo your steps in which we did undo the steps, which are NV underscore disable. You have to undo this, you have to remove this, and you have to remove or undo the NVIDIA web drivers step which was you have which now is you have to click it so you have to unable the checks box checkbox unable the checkbox so let's do the final step and what is the final step so we have to open the clever configurator and once the clever configurator is open you have to mount your efi that i have already explained you many times before in my previous videos so just skip this part again 
and let's go to the system parameter and here you have to untick this uh -huh. so here you have to untick this nvidia web drivers and you have to go to the boot section and you have to untick this nvidia underscore drv one you, you can all you can also leave this ticked because this will tell you the startup details of your system so it might be helpful for you in the start that how the system boots and if or any problems occur it will give you complete details about it as well so you have to do this step and this step and that's all and then after that you have to restart your computer and remember if you are using the UEFI system you can also do one more step just a precautionary step you can go to mount and you can mount your config all right did this and down here in install drivers you can go here in drivers ufi 64 bay and here you can uninstall the emu variable uefi when you do the first installations when you are trying to install the os x so after installing the os x you can just then install back the emu variable ufi 64 and one more thing if you are using any of the gtx 1000 series graphic card you can use the OSX Optio Fix DRV64, but if you are on any previous graphics card like 900 or 700, 600, 500, then you are supposed to use the OSX Optio Fix 2. So don't forget to use the other one. If you are using the 900 and below series, go for the Fix 2. And if you're using 1000 series, then go for the Fix 3. And if you are on 1000 series, you can select both, but you should not do this if you're using 900 or below series so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it and hope you enjoyed it and if you have any question query please feel free to comment under the video and the download link remains same if you want to download any files there is only a single uh, link and you'll find almost all the download files there one more important thing is that i will be on patreon now more regularly than ever before and i will answer questions there more quickly than i do on youtube or facebook and i will also provide you with the team viewer help if you want to get any help through team viewer but I charge $30 for fixing anything related to the Hackintosh over the team viewer. You can just donate me $30 on the Patreons and I will help you through your problems. And there might be some negotiations depending on the issue. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it and hope you enjoyed it. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.